Why I am a Jew? The deepest question any of us can ask is, who am I? To answer it, we have to go deeper than where do I live or what do I do? The most fateful moment in my life came when I asked myself that question and knew the answer had to be, I am a Jew. This is why. I'm a Jew not because I believe that Judaism contains all there is of the human story. I admire other traditions and their contributions to the world. Nor am I a Jew because of anti-Semitism or anti-Zionism. What happens to me does not define who I am. Ours is a people of faith, not fate. Nor is it because I think that Jews are better than others, more intelligent, creative, generous, or successful. It's not Jews who are different, but Judaism. It's not so much what we are, but what we're called on to be. I'm a Jew because being a child of my people, I have heard the call to add my chapter to its unfinished story. I'm a stage on its journey, a connecting link between the generations. The dreams and hopes of my ancestors live on in me, and I am the guardian of their trust, now and for the future. I'm a Jew because our ancestors were the first to see that the world is driven by a moral purpose, that reality isn't a ceaseless war of the elements to be worshipped as gods, nor history a battle in which might is right and power is to be appeased. The Judaic tradition shaped the moral civilization of the West, teaching for the first time that human life is sacred, that the individual may never be sacrificed for the mass, and that rich and poor, great and small, are all equal before God. I'm a Jew because I am the moral heir of those who stood at the foot of Mount Sinai and pledged themselves to live by these truths for all time. I'm the descendant of countless generations of ancestors who, though sorely tested and bitterly tried, remained faithful to that covenant when they might so easily have defected. I'm a Jew because of Shabbat, the world's greatest religious institution, a time in which there's no manipulation of nature or our fellow human beings in which we come together in freedom and equality to create every week an anticipation of the messianic age. I'm a Jew because our nation, though at times it suffered the deepest poverty, never gave up on its commitment to helping the poor or rescuing Jews from other lands or fighting for justice for the oppressed and did so without self-congratulation because it was a mitzvah, because a Jew could do no less. I'm a Jew because I cherish the Torah, knowing that God is to be found not just in natural forces, but in moral meanings, in words, texts, teachings, and commands, and because Jews, though they lacked all else, never ceased to value education as a sacred task, endowing the individual with dignity and depth. I'm a Jew because of our people's passionate faith in freedom, holding that each of us is a moral agent and that in this lies our unique dignity as human beings. And because Judaism never left its ideals at the level of lofty aspirations, but instead translated them into deeds which we call mitzvot and a way which we call the halacha, and thus brought heaven down to earth. I am proud simply to be a Jew. I'm proud to be part of a people who, though scarred and traumatized, never lost their humor or their faith, their ability to laugh at present troubles and still believe in ultimate redemption, who saw human history as a journey and never stopped traveling and searching. I'm proud to be part of an age in which my people, ravaged by the worst crime ever to be committed against a people, responded by reviving a land, recovering their sovereignty, rescuing threatened Jews throughout the world, rebuilding Jerusalem, and proving themselves courageous in the pursuit of peace, no less than in defending themselves in war. I'm proud that our ancestors refused to be satisfied with premature consolations, and in answer to the question, has the Messiah come? Always answered, not yet. I'm proud to belong to the people Israel, whose name means one who wrestles with God and with man and prevails. For though we have loved humanity, we have never stopped wrestling with it, challenging the idols of every age. 
And though we have loved God with an everlasting love, we've never stopped wrestling with Him, nor He with us. I admire other civilizations and traditions and believe each has brought something special into the world. Avalzeh Shalanu. But this is ours. This is my people, my heritage, my faith. In our uniqueness lies our universality. Through being what we alone are, we give to humanity what only we can give. This then is our story, our gift to the next generation. I received it from my parents and they from theirs across great expanses of space and time. There's nothing quite like it. It changed and still challenges the moral imagination of humankind. I want to say to Jews around the world, take it, cherish it, learn to understand and to love it. Carry it and it will carry you. And may you, in turn, Pass it on to future generations, for you are a member of an eternal people, a letter in their scroll. Let their eternity live on in you. The 20th century saw many women across the globe demanding to take their place alongside men. What does the Torah say? Are women really equal? Might they be even greater? From a talk by the Rebbe on the yard site of his mother, Rebbe Zinchana Schnerson. First in a three-part series. <laughs> Und der Rini von der Noche Neidisch Schabbos wie Yom Tev, was al Pi Hatero, mit Zad Hatero, in der Schove bis Chorim und Kevis. Die alle drei, auf al Pi Kein Hatero allein angepasst mit dem Tälischen Balper, und sie geworden nach Halloch in Schulchonor. Und da sehen wir stark, beide seine Mechuyel beschoben in die alle drei Sachen.